This is an Exo Special, episode 24, Moto X Event, on Thursday, August 1st, 2013. And now, this shade of pink is just gross. This episode is hosted by Ryan Rampersad with Matthew Petchel. Hey, how's it going? It's good. How about you? Oh, I'm doing well. Really? Yeah, and uh, today's a special day. Is it? Yeah. What happened today? Well, there was going to be this really big hype special, but then there was just a small announcement, and now we're here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the uh, mass media screwed me over yet again. And you got so screwed today. You know, what, what, what was the last time this happened? Oh, yes, the first time this Moto X event happened. Three weeks ago with Guy Kawasaki. Oh, everybody's going to have a big event today. And then everybody was NDA'd out into uh, California, and then nobody could say a word. Well, today we can say words, but there's not too much to say. But we are gathered here today to talk about the Moto X. The Moto X. This phone has been hyped so much in the past three weeks. Uh, Leo Laporte said that, um, you you know Leo, right? The guy who runs Twit? Absolutely. I heard it not there, but anyway. um, Leo says that, or he said yesterday that this phone is probably, the launch of this phone is probably as big as the original iPhone in terms of what it means for the industry. And other people have said similar things that this is a real turning point. And uh, today I don't see what in any way what they're talking about. Maybe I'm just nearsighted. Maybe I haven't had one in my hand. Maybe I'm getting old, but I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I would say that about the Ubuntu Edge, because that is a very unique phone. That's different. That's, it's, it's, that's not a phone. That's a it's computer. It's the next generation of phones. That, that's not even a phone at, at that point. Yeah, well, that that would be hyped. That, that would that would be a launch. That's this, but this is a suckier droid. You know, that's actually a really good thing to compare. We'll talk about that a little bit, bit later when we talk about pricing. But I guess what we should talk about first is the Moto X event itself. Where is it? Have you seen it? I have not. Yeah, I haven't either. I've seen evidence that it happened. Yeah, I've saw evidence that it happened too, but I, I don't know where. A lot of still pictures there's, came out of it. There's a lot of pictures. There was even a. Moto Rep, a representative, holding the phone and giving demos to people. But we don't know where. We don't know when. It doesn't happen today, sometime. We we know we knew something was going to happen at three. Allegedly the NDA would stop at three sometime. So obviously it's past three that happened. And we know that from eight PM to one AM there's going to be an after party somewhere in New York. We don't know where, just somewhere. Yeah, and um it's not been like any, it wasn't like I expected, and... Well, for all the hype there was, the event didn't pan out to be like, you know, it wasn't anything. like... Anything. No, I, I, if there isn't such a thing, I didn't see it. Yeah, but there was a, they had a beautiful showroom. Did um, they? Yes. Who? The, and the Moto X thing, like where they had, where you can come in and see all the phones, and they had little troughs where they had actual grass. Oh, yeah. Um, right. Like, we don't oh, know where that was, of course. We, we don't, but, um, a lot of still pictures and a lot of camera crews there. Um, so I guess we can talk about something about the phone. So what did we know oh, yeah, about the phone? We know it's a phone. Well, we knew that. I got it. We know who it's made by. Who is it made by? It's made by Motorola. Oh, really? Who's Motorola owned by? Uh, that Google place. Oh, that Google place. The place that gives out the, uh, free 4.3 to all of its subsidiaries so they can have the fastest and the latest awesome Android in their phones. Oh, okay. I see the sarcasm. So uh, they get the 4.3, right? No, they don't. So um, the first line of business, I guess. So, is so the... they launched two events. Like, So they had the week before right, so was last week. 4.3, so right. naturally the next phone made by that company would 4.3. Nope, nope. Totally not true. So last week we had 4.3 with the launch of Chromecast and the new Nexus 7, the 2013 model, and this week we have the Moto X launching this new, very, very hyped phone, Premier Cutting Edge, and what do we get on it? We don't get 4.3, we get 4.22. But, if you think about it, it's still Jelly Bean. And if it they would have had 4.3, it would still be called Jelly Bean. Yes. And so the, there's no difference there's, there. There's barely any discernible difference, yeah. and honestly, because it is a Google product anyway, uh, I'm sure they'll put one out. Like, the day before the iPhone comes out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll talk about more of that later. Um, so, what are, what does the phone look like? What is, what is unique about the phone's look and feel? Because I think so, that's supposed to be a big selling point. The look and feel, it's supposed to be, it could nestle into the palm of your hand. Exact words from one of the publishers. That is true. I did, they um, did say that. So, it's really, um, fa- like, uh, thin bezels and has a lot of weird, Snap adjustable faceplates, so it's 
whatever color you like, you can. You, there are 404 different looks of the phone. And actually, no, half of them are the 16 or 32 gig. But there's a crap load of ways you can customize your phone to be the exact color you want it. Um, so it's really designed to be personal. Right. So, I mean, th- theoretically, you'll never run into another person with a Moto X, even if you had the difference between black and white. You'd never run into another person that had the same color. Um, but now this just, just makes it so it's impossible to run into somebody with the same colored device. So it's thin. It's very round. If you set it on a flat table, it doesn't. It, nobody's talked about it rocking, but the way they bring the pictures up, the front and back can bobble, it looks like. Right, and, and so that actually could be good. So do we know where the um, speakers are? Because if, if the speakers are in the back, by being raised up from the table, it allows it to, um, you know, speak or nicely make noise well. Um, yeah, well, it doesn't look like it, as far as I can tell in the back, um, but it's hard to tell. I mean, yeah. we don't know where anything is on this. We so, haven't had a real no thing yet. No, we haven't. But we, we know where the internal mic is. Or there's a mic at the bottom, and there's also a mic where you talk, so right. it's really good. So you can just, when you're driving, allegedly, you could just speak, and it'll speak always be it. in driving mode. Right. So we, we, we know the specs, um, more or less. Um, these probably won't change between now and two weeks from now, so... Think it's good to talk about them. So we already know about Jelly Bean. What do we know about the processor? We know it's a phone worth getting because it has a 1.7 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 Pro. Wow, a Snapdragon! It has a Snapdragon. Well, so it's not just an ordinary Snapdragon. It actually is more special than that. So, in addition to being a Snapdragon, it's also an enhanced Snapdragon. So, the Nexus 4, as you know, has a Snapdragon in it. The is it ne- an S4 Pro? It is an S4 Pro. The Nexus 7 that was released last week is classified as an S4 Pro, but it's actually an underclocked um, S600, more or less. Which is better. It is better. Um, marginally, though. So it's, it's just it's just binned differently. So that that's fine. Um, but this actually scores better in some benchmarks than that um, S600. Um, and it's scoring better in the graphics department quite substantially, like 400 points in a lot of benchmarks. Which is nice. And so yeah. that just blows the iPhone out of the water. And oh, well, who good. knows? Who knows what it compares to, like, on an iPhone? Honestly, I don't. Um, what kind of memory does it have? Well, it um, just has two gigabytes. We don't know what kind yet, um, as far as we know. Well, if it is if it is um, anything like the um, Nexus 7 from last week, it's using DDR3L, which means nothing, but it's faster than DDR2. Mm-hmm. And we also know it weighs less than five ounces. Woohoo! Um, and which is pretty so, good. I mean, that's, I mean, it's heavy or not? Five envelopes. It's great. Um, so we also know the dimensions. It is 2.57 inches wide. It's 5.09 inches long. And it is 4 or 0.41 inches thick. Well, so that's a really thin phone. So to put this into perspective, so this, this Motorola X is 4.5 ounces, where the Nexus 4, without the case, is uh, 4.9 ounces. So, so it's, it's 4.6 ounces, actually. Seriously. Go away. No, 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 no. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a while now. No. You're, you're not, you can't just do integer math. You can't just trunk that. No. You, you round. I didn't. Eight is closer to ten, so you round up. But I don't. So you just, you just cut it off. You know, you know what 4.9 is closer to? Five. So the next is four is heavier, in other words. Um, or they have the same mass. They probably don't, though. Although that's exactly how we run the war game. So whatever. Um, let's see. Is it bigger? Um, I don't know because that's in millimeters, and I don't care. Yeah, but we do know it has some really good battery. Do we? Do we? Do, do we know that? Twelve hours of talking. I don't know if it's that exciting. That's like so. The, the Nexus Four is rated at fifteen hours of talk time and a twenty-one hundred mAh battery. So I have twelve hours of standby. Like if I'm talking, I maybe get two hours. Yeah, but that's a different class of phone. So that's that's the thing. Mm. Um, what about the camera? I so heard that was really good. We have two cameras on this device. Um, the rear camera is a 10 mixel, a 10 megapixel mixel. clear, clear mixel camera. Clear mixel. Mm-hmm. What is a clear pixel camera? Um, it is a camera with special lenses that do some kind of mathematical craziness. That's pretty much what they do. I uh, hear it takes really nice pictures, even in low light, which is what everybody's going for these days. The front facing camera is special in its own way. Yeah, because you think it's two megapixels and it's junk. Yeah, but it does take full 1080p video. Right, so that that's good. It's uh, that's amazing. That's 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 what do what do you call that? Better than HD? What do you call that? How about just HD? No, because um, the new Nexus Seven is called Full HD, which leads you to believe that there's something below HD that's still HD. And this is it. 
<laughs> okay, then. Um, what size display does it have? It has a 4.7 inch. And what resolution does it have? <laughs> it has a 720 by 1280. So, so really nice. do we know if that's good? Like, what kind of pixel density does that get you? As far as I know, that has not been released. And yeah. I haven't held one in my hand, so I can't guess. You, okay. I, 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 with my eyes, I could guess the pixel density. Can you? To the nearest uh, whole pixel. Wow. Well, that's impressive, I think. Nah, it's a complete lie. I know. Yeah, and so we know that there are two versions coming out, a 16-gig version and a 32-gig version. The PPI is 312. 312. That's up there. That's good. It's, and it still gets that good of a battery it's, with it's it. It's like eight less than next so far. Which you could never notice. No, you, it's oh. not perceptible after like 280. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so just two versions. Um, there are two storage types, so 16 and 32, mm-hmm. um, just like the Nexus 4. And I think there's, what, a $30 difference between them? I believe, at least on the contract pricing, which we'll get to in a minute, that there's a $50. So it's, 50 which, oh, Yeah, so it's $199 to 249 So it's not. It's actually pretty reasonable. It's not like Apple, which is $100 more. <laughs> uh, so in other words, it's exactly like how they price the Nexus 4 line for storage tiers. Um but I, you know, I'm having a hard time finding like a list of all of the design choices that there were because I think that's really interesting to talk about. So, so you can customize the back shell, so like, so not the front of the phone, the back of the phone, and you can customize it in the sense that it could be pink, blue, green, any solid color you like, more or less. You can also get fancy things like a wood motif, I guess. Um, you could get like a, a black plastic charcoal. You could get, um, various types of wood. You could get like pebble. It's not, it's obviously not pebble. It's just a picture, um, painted on, I suppose. But, uh, there, there are different backs you can get. Um, you can choose the front screen plate color. So it's, there, those are limited choices. So it's, it's either black or white. Um, the, um, the edging, so where the, like on the Nexus 4, there's a chrome band that goes around the phone. So in, in the similar vein to that, you can set your own custom coloring there. But, so the Verge calculated 400 and f- or 504 choices of phone variation. So two of those at least don't count because internally those would just be changing the, um, storage space. So, 504 divided by 2 is a number that is irrelevant, right? Correct. And so I, I just topped on uh, Motorola Global, uh, like their, their, their thing for this whole 252. thing. 252. Yeah. And so on their site, they can say that you can design yours to have all these things, but they don't have, actually have an option yet. No. You can't order these and you can't look at what's available and done that. So No, but you um, can see a bunch of the pictures that the press release released. So they have various types of wood, like a nice mahogany, um, a it's nice, mahogany. I think so, mahogany. Um, they, they, as Matt mentioned, wood on grass. Um, I mean, that, that just looked, um, various nice. types of wood. There's various types of each shade of primary color. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot all over the place. And so you can also choose the ring, like, um, in between the two, the front panel and the back panel. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can customize that. It, it's, a little crazy. I think it's a little too customizable. I don't think so. I think that's great, and I think the ability to do this is wonderful. I yeah. don't think this is too customizable, because if you don't want to choose, you just pick the white one or the black one, and they just send you whatever. Yeah. And so one thing we do know is, so normally if they have this high customizable stuff, I still imagine if you get engraved, which is an option, you can have your phone uh, engraved. Whatever you do, just so, just so you know, Ian Buck, if you do that, I will shoot you with Matt's gun. Engraving a device... To have your name in. Ruins resell ability. It ruins it. It is over. Um, I don't think anybody's worried about this. It is over. Yes. Never engrave anything. So normally with this feature, like if you buy an iPhone with this or an iPad, like they had a promotional where you could have it engraved for free. Right. Um, it adds two weeks to the shipping process, mm-hmm. though. And so what they're saying is that even with all this customizable stuff, it'll all be out and at in your hands within five business days. Right. So the way they're doing that is how? So they opened up a new plant in Texas. Yep. Or they repurposed an existing Something one. Like that. Yeah, they they closed it and then they reopened it for this project. Right. Um, they have 2,000 workers and they'll be working to customize every single phone that gets ordered and gets shipped out from Texas. Right. Well, and assuming that the ones that are ordered are customized in any great degree. Well, so the only way that could work is if they had, like... Two, cause, you know, there's two. Uh, there's the black and white face, and then they must have to click the other ones on and right. package it all and do other things. And so they also have this program going, 
where let's say you pick some colors and then you think now that it's in my hands i don't like the i shade don't like of the pink. shade of pink yeah like the pink is gross i need a good blue you can send it back within two weeks and you can have it changed for free i imagine that you'd have to pay the shipping charges of course um, but there is no punishment for sending it back. So I guess they refurbish it or do whatever. I hope they don't, or I'm sure they can keep the same screen. Like, yeah, you, they just I'm, click I'm, stuff I'm sure. off and click new stuff on. Yeah. Um, which is fine. That's great. Mm-hmm. TV's fine. But, uh, so I, I think all of the customizability here is really great for differentiating themselves. But I was doing some reading, as you might have heard, I tend to do. Um, according to my records, the customizable part is only available on AT&T. So you can only get all these colors, all of these select your own stuff things, if you do it by AT and T. Like they'll have presets that you can get otherwise. Like if you're not on AT and T, like so just yellow, pink, green. Yeah. So they'll have pre- okay. pre- they'll have presets already made for you. But if you're on AT and T, you can actually pick like individual things and be different than everybody else. But if you're on another carrier or the other big three. You won't get that option. Mm-hmm. But apparently. just something to point out is that the options that you can pick out are probably the best ones you could pick. Like, right. I mean, there's, there, yes, you can have yeah, a can, pink back with a green rim or, with a white face. Right. But that's would you really like, want that? No, you probably don't. Um, defaults are best. Now, so they have, um, wood choices, as you saw. Yeah. <laughs> there are four premium <laughs> ones out. So probably. we don't know if it's just a wood finish. Or if it's physical wood. It's wood finish. It's it's a mock-up. It's still plastic. Well, we don't know that. It is. It's okay. a, like a weird vinyl back. How do you know? Because it's been stated. Where? Here, send me a link. Material. Yeah, okay, in material. Um. Well, so if they have wood, I would like to see maybe in the future as an option, whether it costs more or not, um, some metal backing. Um, you know, like a nice piece of um, aluminum. chamfered aluminum. Uh, everyone likes their chamfered aluminum. I like my chamfered aluminum screen. too. Yes, my my sapphire screen. Your sapphire screen. Yes. So you know, I think we've talked enough about the phone and um, all the great things that it can do. Oh, I guess there's one thing I wanted to mention. So very infrequently do we get phones that have dual band wireless in them. So usually you just get wireless N and it's great and that's what you get. Mm-hmm. Um, this not only has dual band N but it also has dual band AC. Uh, and that's very infrequent, so I don't even think the new Nexus 7 has it. I think it just has dual N. So I, I'm very pleased to see that in a phone coming now. Yeah. Um, otherwise, um, did we, did we mention the carrier? So all four major carriers plus US Cellular, which we Yeah, it is now a fifth major carrier. Which we don't believe is a major I, carrier. We believe it's AT&T in disguise. I thought so too. Totally believe that. Um, so I, I don't know if it's one handset to rule them all. I'm guessing that it's not because they say that, that there's a CDMA model only. So I'm guessing that there's at least one model variation for depending on which carrier, which makes sense considering that AT&T is the only company that you can go through to get the customization. Hi. We, I, we are both wrong. US Cellular has its own towers, allegedly. It is the, Where? according to the Google knowledge bar, it is the fifth largest wireless telecommunication network in the United States okay, well, behind can, can, Verizon. Can you find out um, if it's CDMA or GSM? Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to have to go to the U.S. Cellular Wiki about that one. That's totally good. Yeah, so uh, you entertain. Well, I will entertain. So um, the, the, the various models are all there. Um, now, an interesting thing that you get when you get this phone that isn't very well known, so you get your 16 gig or your 32 gig model, right? But you also get this. You get two years of fifty gigabyte storage on Google Drive. Which is amazing. So so I have I have something to tell you. So you know all this Google plus stuff I do, so I, I pretty much use that only for the blog now. Mm-hmm. Um and I put all the dog pictures and all my park pictures and the pictures are pretty much everything on Google Plus. Like I'll put some on Instagram which goes to Facebook and Twitter, but for the most part I like putting stuff on Google Plus because it's full resolution. Mm-hmm. I've already used twenty percent of my storage of my fifteen gigs. And that's been in a year and a half. And I've only had the Nexus 4 for six months. That's pretty bad. So what I'm saying is by having two years of 50 gig storage for free when you buy this phone, it amortizes the cost of having a 10 megapixel camera. And nobody's going to want to lose pictures. Right. So they're going to keep it after two Exactly. Years. So it, it, it's great for Google in that sense. And it's also great for you. And, you know, the $50 a year plan is pretty cheap. It's only it's like 100, it's, it's $120 a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing. It's like $12 a month. Something. How about 10? 10? Oh, okay, How 10. How about 10? 
Oh, that's how it works. I yeah. Get that. Oh, it's I almost thought there like were, I know thought there were ten months in a year. My mistake. Yeah. Also, speaking of knowing things, Hi. um, according to the Wikipedia, it is CDMA two thousand. Oh, how sad. So, so yeah. it's like a Verizon. It's, it's a three G. Yeah, thing. I know. I know. Yeah. Um. So why don't we talk about pricing then? Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about. Pricing. Well, what do you want to talk about instead? Well, there's just one thing we gotta kind of mention on. So, oh, oh, okay. We do know we talked briefly that it has Android uh two four point two two. Mm-hmm. Um, and it uses mostly stock Android, but the home screen is different. Like, I mean, the lock screen. Lock screen. Yeah. So how is it different? It can uh, like allegedly when you get a message, it just goes. So what what it does is it's doing something unique. So by using, um, I believe it's an AMOLED screen, but I'm not sure like what else is there. But by using a screen that you can selectively turn the pixels on and off on, instead of lighting up the whole screen to show that you have a notification, it can just light up the pixels to carve out the notification. So instead of lighting up 8,000 pixels, it can light up 20 or whatever. Yeah, just like the top half of your screen, right. and then you tap it, it brings you straight to messages from right. the lock screen. Right, so on the example that I have up on the Motorola website, they have a picture with a Facebook notification in a little circle. You swipe the circle, and it opens up to Facebook. So it's a very simple and easy way mm-hmm. to get to. Now, that also means they have to keep the touch sensor on, but if as if long as they can keep that regionalized also, that's probably okay. Yeah, which is which is a very cool feature. So they're calling that active display technology, which is really ironic because it's not active. The screen isn't on. It's passively there. But it's technology. So I, it's right. So I you should call it something exciting and not lame, like passive screen technology or something. Yeah. So um, how much would you pay for this phone? Well, it gives you more features than all the iPhones and all the other things. So <laughs> your phone gives you more features than that. Yeah, the iPhone. It's worth of. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Um, with the contract, I'd say what every phone costs these days, 200 bucks. Oh, you're right. Spot on. In fact, every carrier, even that strange fifth one, will be selling it for 199 or 249 if you get the 32 gig model. But I have some bad news for you. What? Do you know how much it costs off contract? Uh, and it's easy, about 350. No, well, it doesn't. That's how everything is. Well, that's like, how it's the, the... about 200 bucks. And if you want to get to another 150. Yeah, like the Nexus 4, you know, it's from Google, right? Yeah. No, no, 600. Wow. Yeah, Three so, times the price? So, yeah, exactly. So the um, 32 gig model is uh, 630. The 16 gig model is 575 or so. So about $600 on average to get the off contract variation. Um, now we did hear that, or that that's what it costs from AT&T. And so you can assume that the other carriers will price accordingly. But we also did hear late breaking news that according to, to the Verge, at least that there will be a Google play edition. Oh, okay. But, as we've seen from the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One, those phones are priced at their premium off-contract price points. It's not subsidized by Google at all in those cases. So there's really no recourse in for buying this as a mid-tier, cheap, you know, Nexus 4-esque phone. This is not a Nexus 4. This is better. This is worse in price point. Oh, uh, in price point, but... And, and, and better is really subjective in, in terms of... What it does, like, sure, it has a better camera, but then the Nexus 4 is a year old. And sure, it has a slightly better processor, but then again, the Nexus 4 is a year old. Like, all of the things here will be in the Nexus 5, and if... Oh, no doubt. And if the previous price point is either maintained or only raised by $30, as the Nexus 7 was, I don't understand. I, I've been misled and let down by this, this troll of a phone in the price point. Yeah, and maybe we'll be surprised when we see how how much it costs, because um, we don't know yet. We can't actually buy it from Motorola's website. Well, we we, actually... we, know, we know that it'll be one ninety nine on contract, and we well, know that yeah. it'll be six hundred dollars off contract from the carrier. From just the one. Yes, but they'll price accordingly. So what? It'll be five hundred and twenty five dollars from Sprint on every Tuesday. But you might get a free uh, razor when you get it. How ironic! <laughs> That's funny. I like that idea. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a razor for your Motorola. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, to pry off the back so you can switch panels. I know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just think that's really weird and really strange. I personally would not do that. Um, so um, what, what else do you have to say? I think we covered it all. I think so. Uh, so would you would you want to be interested in this kind of a phone? I am. Um, I, I would be too if the price was better. Uh, I don't do contracts. Um, and coming from Google. So I guess that's an interesting thing to ask. So, you know, recently... The Ubuntu Edge phone was announced. Mm-hmm. And do you know how much that costs? Well, so 
Yes, it costs that, but that's once it's in active development and the, all the startup costs are paid, I think the price will drop considerably. Well, so what they said is that the U- Ubuntu Edge is a limited run phone series. So they just they make it, you know, they make how many ever units they get and uh, that that's the run and that's it. And they might make a few extra for themselves so they can giggle profusely in 10 years. But they will only make how many ever they make. They won't have it there for that long. Um, and so on average right now, it's costing about $800 to get a Ubuntu Edge. So when you put the Ubuntu Edge next to this phone, the Motorola X, the price points look really weird. So why is a Galaxy S4, I mean, bloody crap, why is an S4 Pro um, getting compared to a product that's going to have, you know, four gigs of memory, um, a sapphire screen, and not just a gorilla glass? Why is it getting, um, you know, like, a 4.5 inch screen versus 4.7 inch screen. There are certain trade offs that don't really quite connect. Um, I think it's interesting to ask why an $800 phone is $800 and this is a $600 phone off contract. Yeah, but I don't know. Uh, that screen though is really nice with the, how oh, you can't, you need diamonds to scratch it. I know. I mean, cause most people, that's the thing that breaks most on people's phones. Right. Like, they scratch their screen. Like, mm-hmm. I have scratches in my screen because I put it with some sand in my pocket. Well, you don't even have a screen protector. Okay. They don't make them for the Optimus Elite. Yeah, I know. I mean, that, that is so low tier, they don't I know. care. I, I got screen protectors for my Nexus 4, but I didn't put it on uh, either. You, know, you left the stock one on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Yeah, I, I, I would say too. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. have. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, well, um, so, um, if we ever see a Nexus, I mean, uh, Moto X in real life, we'll let you know. We probably won't. I, I'm, oh, so we did, we mention the release date ish? No, we did not. Okay. So <laughs> very, very, very vague. What? Okay. Well, we'll go quick. So very, the release date is vague. We are hearing late August, early September. Uh, that's it. And, and obviously that's when orders open. And so then to get your customized phone from AT&T, you have to wait five days anyway. So mid, uh, mid September. We'll, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll I'll see how it goes then. And hopefully we can find one in a Best Buy near then. Yeah. And I'm uh, going to be busy September 15th. Doing what? So I'm going to be hunting Bambi's. September 15th? Mm-hmm. Well, is that like when it opens? Okay. So Minnesota allows massive cheating. So normally it opens like late November. Um, for deer hunting, or actually like November 7th or something. Um, but, uh, for people who are having bows, they let you go from like September 15th to like January. Like it's a huge season and you can hunt from people's backyards. Oh, that's pretty cool. If you have permission from a guy who shoots from the yard. But if, uh, so technically if I shoot a deer from your backyard and it runs into your neighbors, I'm allowed to tra- go track it down and carry it across. I just can't gut it in their yard. I'm so glad they made that rule. Yeah, it's allowed. You can, without giving consent, you're allowed to trespass. I see. It's a cool feature. Well, we'll we'll see you then. Have a good one. Uh, have a good one.